La Nina advisory has been issued as of today, October 9th. Now, what does that mean? That means sea surface temperatures are looking slightly cooler, which will impact our wintertime patterns as we get into the next several months. Typically, when La Nina happens, we have these trade winds going from east to west. Now, normally, they kind of keep those temperatures a little bit warmer towards South America. But in a time like now, those trade winds are a little bit stronger, pushing those warmer water conditions further towards Asia, allowing for cooler water to come up near South America. As the water gets cooler down near South America, that keeps the jet stream further north of the United States, and that's when we start to see these La Nina conditions. Here's what they're going to look like potentially for our areas across the U.S. during the winter time. That includes all the way from December to February. It's currently October and we are seeing some of these conditions across the Texas area, keeping us warm and dry. Now, this La Nina is looking to be weaker, so we still could see these conditions here, but maybe not as strong through February and December and February. The Climate Prediction Center outlooks for the next 8 to 14 days for our area include us in above normal temperatures and on the cusp of below normal precipitation, which puts us right in line for La Nina conditions. 